Welcome to the Lazarus Pit. Hashtag nerds chatting. Thanks for tuning in. Welcome to Lazarus Pit Pod Weekly Comic Book Review Week 9. I'm on my own this week. Unfortunately, the host with the most natives is gallivanting across Europe. I thought I'd give it a go this week without him. Oh, I've not got anything ready. I have to get things ready. Okay, I'll cut this out. Don't stand up. So, the first comic book I'm going to talk about this week is Snowfall. From Image Comics, it's issue one, uh, written by Joe Harris. Uh, the artist is Martin Marazzo. I don't know who any of these people are. The premise is that in the future, in 2045, climate is used as a weapon. I'm going to put it there. I didn't like this comic. It was really talky. And it didn't grab me. Normally, first issue comic books on the last page, what they try and do is they try and leave you with like a, a really big cliffhanger or something like that. This one was confusing and weird and I didn't like it and it's a real shame because I wanted to like it because I really try and like indie stuff. Image Comics normally release really good stuff. Just, no, nah, wasn't for me I'm afraid. So I'm going to give this one a thumbs down. Right, wow, that went quite far. Next this week, Star Wars issue 16. Now I haven't really been reading Star Wars that much. Well, that's kind of a lie. I have been reading Star Wars Vader Down. But this is the start of a brand new arc. It's a, uh, probably like a six issue arc. It's uh, book four, part one, Rebel Jail. This is sort of running alongside the, the Vader comic book as well. Um, and it's pretty cool. It's on like a, it's right in front of a star. Star, here's the star. The artwork for that is really good. The artwork in this comic book itself is consistently great. It's written by uh, Jason Aaron. A pencil's done by Lenil Yu. This is actually really quite good. This is a good comic book. Um, I enjoyed it. What was a bit odd, throughout all the comic books they've done for this, this most recent run, all the drawings of Han and Leia and Luke have always been almost carbon copies of, of the actual actors that played them, until this comic book issue and this picture of Han. That's not Han Solo, that's someone that's got the same colour hair and he wears the same clothes. Other than that, it's like, that's not really Han. But it's then all you, so, you know, what do I know? It was good, I like the story, it's a good setup for where it's going to go. Thumbs up. Superman. American Alien. So this is issue four. So this is written by Max Landis. <sighs> Let's face it, he's a strange guy, but I like what he does. It was illustrated by Jay Lee as well. I'm not always a fan of his work, but for this, it was pretty cool. The story of this dragged a bit. What's happening in this is that Clark Kent try and get an interview with Lex Luthor and Bruce Wayne. It's very talky. Uh, and Lex Luthor, by the way, comes across in this, as he's supposed to, I guess, as a complete douchebag. Oh yeah, um, Batman turns up. He smashes his face to a keyboard, and then Clark Kent gets up, and as you can see here on this panel, on this page, slams him up against the wall. And it was, it, up until then, it was, it was okay, and then here it got good. Uh, Batman is trying several things, to get Clark to let him go, nothing's working basically. So he eventually uses some kind of light blinding device which affects Clark, um, Clark drops him and he gets away basically. Really, really cool final page. He's holding basically, Clark is holding Batman's cape, cow. It just looks really good. This was very talky and people came across as a bit douchebaggy, particularly Lex Luthor, until Batman showed up and then it became a good comic. I'm going to give it a thumbs up. I'm hoping for more from issue 5. Um, it's only running for 7 runs so it's a limited run. Go out and get it. Final comic. This is by Mark Miller and Raphael Albuquerque and this is Huck. Now I've picked up the variant cover. It's like a rip on E.T. This is my comic of the week. I don't think we've ever done comic of the week but I'm starting it. It's now a thing. It was brilliant. If you've not read Huck, the guy who has powers, he doesn't know where the powers came from, he's really strong, he can just seem to find stuff that people have lost. He's been outed in the media basically. The comic book starts off in Siberia in 1981 and it turns out that Huck and Huck's brother's mum has powers. She is really really strong. She also has like some kind of empathic power where she can touch people and get them to do exactly what they uh, she wants them to do and that's pretty cool. She escapes from like, these, these Russians during the Cold War. There's, there's a couple of uh, twists and turns in it this week. You know, it ended on a, on a massive cliffhanger. I love this comic book. I cannot say enough about it. It's only on issue four. As I said, it's Mark Miller, 
who's a consistently great, great writer. Some people say that he just writes stuff because he knows it's going to be made into a film, but I think he's great. I, I love his stuff. And Raphael Albuquerque has drawn on um, American Vampire with Scott Snyder, and he is great. He's consistently brilliant. I love how he draws, you know, uh, this is the Hux mum. I love that. I love the emotion that he draws on Huck's face. And it's just brilliant. It's so good. It's got such a beating heart, this comic book. I can't say enough about it. Um, please go out and read it because it's great. Huck, issue four. Again, I don't know if it will be a limited run. Probably Mark Miller stuff tends to be like a limited run. Maybe 12 issues. I don't know. But it's great. Comic of the week. Thank you. I'm just going to give a little shout out. Paul Wilson from Final Frontier in Plymouth. He's a really cool guy, a uh, friend of the show. He has drawn for us, front of a Batman Robin Eternal number one, this lovely image. How cool is that? Um, a couple of the guys in the Lazarus Pit pop were looking at this and they're like, it's almost as good, if not better, than the actual work done by the actual guys who did this comic book cover um, for The Dark Knight Returns back in whatever it was in the 80s. It's brilliant, it's really good. We will be giving this away in a future competition, probably around DevCom, something like that. Uh, this is where we buy our comics from. We love these guys. We are the official podcast of Fire Frontier, um, as you can probably see. Oh, no, you can't see in the background because that's turned off. Oh, brilliant. Fire Frontier is where we get our stuff. Um, they are the greatest comic book shop in the UK. Thanks very much for tuning in. Um, Nate will be back next week. Normal programming will commence. I'm going to cut loads of this stuff out. Uh, please don't forget to listen every Tuesday to our podcast, The Lazarus Pit Pod. Uh, dot podbean.com it's also available on itunes just go to itunes and search for the lazarus pit pod we're on facebook twitter instagram youtube please like uh, this video subscribe to this video follow us on all our social media channels thanks very much bye bye i'm now turning it